Hey guys, it's Jeremy with The Hockey Movement and we're bringing you a full series on how to improve your shot. I'm teaching you the building blocks of your shot. These are a lot of things I've noticed with players from single A all the way up to triple A, and even men's league players are playing 15, 20 years, and they forget some of these things. I use one or two, but not all of them. So I wanna make sure that you have a complete shot and you're getting power from every single part of your body. And in this video, we're gonna be teaching that. So let's start with the wrists. In this video series, I'm explaining what you're gonna do at the end of the shot first, and then working our way back to how you're gonna start the shot. So by following the full series, you can get a really good understanding of everything that's happening and tie it all together at the end for a really complete shot. First thing is your wrists. Your wrists are really important in your shot, and that's what gives you that extra zip at the end. So those guys who can get that little extra zip and those nice snap at the end of their shot, that's what they're doing, using the wrists and what we're gonna talk about in the second video. So I'm gonna show you in detail what to do with your wrists. The wrists are responsible for extra power and extra accuracy. So if you follow this sequence, you'll notice more power and more accuracy in your shot. You wanna start by cupping the puck. So basically your wrists are gonna be rolled over a little bit this way. Throughout the shot, you're gonna naturally open up your wrist just a little bit and that's opening up the blade. By opening up the blade, you're getting the puck on the blade of the stick and that allows you to lift the puck off the ice. Now when you're finishing the shot, you wanna quickly roll your wrist over and that's gonna close the blade again. So it's a closed, open, closed sequence. Now you can do this with a full wrist shot by pulling the puck back. So you can see here it's closed, open, closed, or even just with a quick little snap. It's cupping the puck, opening it, and closing it really quickly. And I'll give you an exercise to practice this, but I'll show you really quickly here. Closed, open, closed, just getting a little quick snap on net. On top of getting extra power from using your wrist, you can also get extra accuracy. Now they're the last joints used. They're like the crosshairs in your shot, getting that really fine-tuned accuracy. So to get more accuracy, all you have to do is point. I'm pointing more to the left here, my shot's gonna go more to the left. If I leave it open a bit more to the right, shot's gonna go more to the right. If I really roll my wrist over, that's gonna keep the shot low. If I really roll my wrist open like that, the puck's gonna go high. So use your wrist in your shot to control power, get a little extra power and a little extra accuracy. I'll give you a little exercise here to work on that. For this exercise, we're really targeting just using the wrist. So I don't want you to do anything else. Don't pull the puck back. Don't get weight transfer, just use your wrist. To do that, get about 20 pucks and start with the puck lined up with your front foot. So it's forward in your stance, all right? And all I want you to do is start by cupping the puck, quickly open your wrist, and then quickly close your wrist. And that should be enough to get a little snap on the net. So it's just gonna look like this. Try to do as little as you can and really target just getting power and accuracy from your wrist. Take a look at the net first, pick a spot, try to hit it. So just keep on shooting. And you can see, I'm pretty much just using my wrists in these shots, not much else. You can also do the same exercise with your chest facing the net, just to work on different shooting method. Still, cup in the puck, try just using your wrist, quickly open it and then close it. Get a quick little flick on net. All right, that's it. If you really want to improve, grab about 20 pucks, do this exercise every few days for the next month or so. You're gonna notice a lot of extra power and extra zip in your shot, and also better accuracy. Uh, don't forget to check out our next video, which is the next segment in this series, and it's how to get that extra snap in your shot using the leverage of the stick. And this is something I notice a lot of players aren't doing properly. Make sure you check that out. Also want to say thank you to our sponsors. So the products that I'm using in this video, the Colt Hockey Stick, uh, also, the hockey training aids I was using is the uh, Easy Goal from HockeyShot.com and also the Extreme Passing Kit is the Pro Size from HockeyShot as well. Uh, I'll put the links in the video description. And if anyone's wondering why I got this cool shirt, it's from Scrappers Hockey. So thanks a lot for watching the video. Don't forget to check out the next one.